Garcia at all costs. And if you notice, when Garcia catches the ball, let's say at the chest area, yeah. he's ready to shoot. He doesn't bring that ball down and then bring it back up again. From the chest area, from the neck area, Garcia is ready to shoot. And that's what makes him so deadly because yes. at almost anywhere from the court, he can hit that three-pointer. Foul on the floor on the JR Kowalik drive. PS Bank Mahas has assist to Aldrich Ramos. So, from the list of prime rebate, pa. PS Bank home loan. Garcia with six points of the eight. JR Kowalik. So, uh, let me correct myself. Two triples for RR Garcia. Not, not, not one long two, but they were both triples. One from the left corner court and the last one from the corner. Well, Stephanie remind us, uh, reminded us of the remaining games. Uh, Marco, they both have three games left. Oh yes, for FPU they're playing NU, UP, and Adamson, uh, Ateneo de Manila. Sorry, correct that. So, uh, out of these three games, it's actually only Ateneo who is the final for actually final for contender. Even though NU is still mathematically possible for them, but the main threat is Ateneo. But for La Salle, they still have a sort of heavier schedule: UST, UE, and Adamson. And that game against Adamson is going to be big, especially if Adamson wins tomorrow. So. Uh, Big games up ahead for La Salle, more, more so for La Salle. Earlier you saw the Rexona men shot block, New Rexona men unbeatable defense against Sweat. Vosotros is in the ball game and Terrence Romeo with a different do again today, just for extra protection, just in case that La Salle uh, decides to concentrate their defense on him. Parang dragon ball. At least, you know, uh, yeah. use what you have. In all seriousness, though, this guy, imagine five years with FU, Garcia, four years, including this year, of course, four years. That, and it's not even about the future anymore. Yes, it's really yes. about now. Vosotros denied entry. Six minutes to play. It is 11-6 for those listening to us on radio. That's the score. Six minutes to play. FEU ahead by 5, 11 to 6. Garcia against Atkins. 10 on the 24. Cervantes, no look to Ramos. Great fake. And a foul from behind as Joshua Webb flew by. And that's going to be very Ball dangerous though because uh, FEU and LaSalle, both teams, very good Nine scoring the inside the paint. Actually, the, num the number one teams averaging 35 points per game. So they have to watch out for Alex Ramos and Rio Cervantes. Time out brought to you by Samson. Turn on tomorrow. At the Coliseum, which is where we played the first game, also between these two teams. That guy on your screens, not only the numbers, he had the crucial steal and pretty much uh, forced overtime in that first meeting. I do have to say anything else. Our Argus, he has been the main man for FBU, especially in the fourth quarter clutch. Uh, of clutch game. Yeah. So, expect uh, actually today he started out strong already with six points. We've only got halfway into the first quarter, so expect him to really carry this FBU team. <laughs> Double lane violation, possession arrow pointing to the green side. Clear anti dandruff shampoo, high position stop of the game. Amun Vosotros early. After six minutes, 12 to 6 is the score. And FEU ahead. FEU going on a 1 2 2 zone. Atkins trying to break it. Off the back iron. Ball will remain with the number four team right now who are very wary of NU and UE breathing down their necks. And those two teams will go at it tomorrow as we look at a Samsung instant replay. Joshua, Joshua Webb getting it up and in. UE and NU will go up against each other. The loser of that game loses its chance to try to chase yes. for the number four spot. And this is the team they're chasing, La Salle. But if La Salle gets to eight, then whatever they do is still no no bearing because they won't be able to catch them. And no disrespect to NU or La Salle for that matter, as Vosotros is a step ahead. Oh, they're gonna deny that. That's unnecessary for Joshua Webb. He didn't That's have to do that. Very unnecessary and poor foul there by the part of Joshua Webb. Vosotros is wide open for the layup and he just uh, careless foul there on, on yeah, Joshua yeah, Webb's part. So they negate the two points. Let's look at that. Inartehan na rin naman ni Romeo. Binenta na niya yung tawag. Pero the point is, 
Joshua wouldn't have just stayed away. Yeah, because Romeo isn't, even wasn't going to challenge that right. layup. Samsung Instant Replay catching that one. I was about to say, no disrespect to LaSalle and NU, but UE is the most dangerous team right now. And a great assist by Eximignano to Aldrich Ramos. Those are the things that Eximignano brings to this team that a lot of people don't get to notice. The pickups, the assists, the blocks, the steals. And Fosot was asking for a foul this time. 14-10 is our score. Follow Joshua Webb holding on to Eximignano. So immediately two unnecessary fouls here for, for Josh Webb. Really no reason to foul Eximignano because they were setting up their press and now he's going to send Eximignano to the free throw line. Look at that fine by Eximignano and all Aldrich Ramos had to do for a Soldier's Insta Cool play. High performance of the quarter. Soldier's shoot tap with Insta Cool cuff relief. Let's put it up and in. And you know what I like about Peng Eximignano? I think, I think he's, a, he's a type of player who knows his role in the team. He's going to play. He knows that he's there to play defense. He's there to pick up offensive rebounds and drop pass to the, to the big man inside. So and he's a stopper. Yes. Uh, according to Mark, Coach Mark Molina, I talked to him in the preseason when we were covering the Phil Oil Flying V League. The reason that they put him on the starting five during the preseason was to develop his confidence because they've never had in recent years a stopper at the two guard position, which is very important when you're going up against the Eric Salamats, the yes. ball leads. And just to show you how efficient this guy is, he's actually leading the league in terms of two-point field goal percentage yep. at 77%. We're talking about Ping Eximidiano, yes. correct? That's correct. Atkins knocking down a two on the other end. 15 to 12 is the score. 405 remaining in the first quarter. Yakisobra move brought to you by Nisin Yakisoba. Nisin Yakisobra Sarab. Simon Atkins with the hesitation. On his strong side. Jovet Mendoza already in the ball game against Neil Cervantes. The show by Mendoza. Cervantes goes to the other side. Garcia catch and shoot. Gets the bounce. And again, you've got to watch his form when he shoots. That time that was catch and shoot. No, no dribble. And Ara Garcia has such a smooth jumper that it's, it's practically uh, almost a gimme if, he, if he's open for the three. Obviously, we point out that form. I know Marco Kase. It, it lessens the release time. Yeah. So, yung umahabol sa kanya. The ones who are trying to close out, close out a bit too late. Look at that. Here, look at that. He's ready to shoot right away. So, people who are trying to close out on him are still a split second too late. And what you have to notice also is the footwork of R. Garcia. The ball is flying to him. And his feet are almost already set. So that once he gets the ball, there's practically hardly any movement before he takes the shot. That, that was, that's what lessens the shooting time. Three-point shot brought to you by Mentos Rainbow because it's better to know what's coming next. FEU shooting 63%. LaSalle not too bad at 50%. Marata thought about it. Drive, sets up Beauty and Andrada. Takes on That's a great pass by uh, Sam Marata. Finding Alex Garcia, Garcia, helping on the defense. Keishan Andrada was wide open in the post. 18 to 14 is the score. Timeout brought to you by Samsung. Turn on tomorrow. Back here at the Ananta Coliseum. Three minute mark of our first quarter. And FU still ahead by four. 18 to 14. Luke Gonzalez, Marco Benitez, we're happy to have you with us on the Saturday afternoon. As Terrence Romeo fades away, does not get the roll, and Jovet Mendoza gets a rebound. Marata underneath. Atkins. Nowhere to go. Asking for a traveling violation with the FBU bench. Jovet against Aldrich Ramos. Mendoza forces that one. 1.9 blocks a game. That's what Aldrich gives you. And in New York, the fast break courtesy of R.R. Garcia. And what is more important than the block actually is that they're almost always ready to run the fast break. FU, one of the leading teams in terms of fast break points, averaging nine per game. So Nassau uh, has to be wary of that. This communication between Atkins and Turnover, by is that fast break? Brought to you by Corneto. Set up the fast break. They don't pop. Select the Corneto. Set up the 20. Eight assists for FU. And only two for LaSalle so far. Kipo Nondo, by the way, is in the ballgame for the very first time for the league leaders. Also, Mark Bringas. Two wide bodies. 
30 bodies for FEU in the ball game. Five on the shot clock for the Tamaraus. R.R. Garcia takes a look at the clock, fades away, puts it up. That's short. That's an automatic turnover. Shot clock violation. We're going to the Mark Bring as an for no one This is one of the advantages Coach Tulane has. Such a deep bench, deep front line also coming into the every ball game. KFC snack box, hardcore fan of the game, both for your school. Win three days of free, KFC. 143 to play. It's still 20 to 14. De La Paz. Nowhere to go. Vosotros. And a foul on an FEU player. I think it's going to be on oh, Mark Bringa. Mark Bringa. Yeah. 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 Got him out of the picture. Unilad quality moment of the game. Trusted quality. Help me. Uh, Garcia moves out. Yandos back in. Yes, Utel also there. Small lineup for FU with two sturdy big men. And Andrade able to put it up and in. The stick back. And that's what we were talking about. Tayshan Andrada and Jovet Mendoza as you see that steal. Counter steal though. Romeo looks ahead, goes to his right, and then sets up Pringas who is hammered underneath. Great presence of mind there by Terrence Romeo, finding Mark Bringas oh, under, who was more eight, open eight, eight, for the layup. And the vision, Mark, yes. vision of uh, court vision of Romeo. And to naman yung hapol, presentation for UTN Andrada. PS Bank strong power move, so I'm going to be trying to rebate pa, PS Bank home loan. We're talking about that vision, but that's, that's something that's not easy to do. You're going full speed with the defense, coming back on transition, and then you find your big man in. That, that's what comes from playing with each other for such a long, well, actually for so many months going to the season. A minute and six seconds remaining. Bring us. This is on the second. The lead is five. Vosotros, Marata, Mendoza, Andrada, and De La Paz for La Salle. Vosotros likes to operate in that area but comes up short this time. So far, Terence Romeo playing great defense of Vosotros, not allowing him to get any easy looks at the basket. Two hot shot high school players, Romeo and Vosotros. Exactly. Nephew and San Sebastian. Newton with six to shoot, still way, way out. Nondu with two to shoot. They find Bringas. Bringas attacks and is rejected by Andrada. Here come the archers. Sloppy play, but they recover with 17 seconds on the game clock. And I'm sure Coach Glenn is not happy because that's the second time that FEU has not been able to get a good shot off with the shot clock winding down. Osotros will take Romeo. Sets up Mendoza, who is fouled or just loses it Four to the sideline. Loses it to the baseline, rather. Four to shoot for the Green Archers. Mendoza doing the honors. Go back to him with two seconds. And a foul with a seven-tenth of a second on the clock. And the heads of the coaching staff of FEU just bowing down in frustration. Yeah, exactly. Mendoza was way, was too deep under the basket, so they didn't really have a good angle at the shot. Uh, uh, people know to bail him out on that one. First free throw attempt by LaSalle today. And missed by the former NU Bullpup. So we are at 21-17, and most likely we will end our first quarter that way. Quickly, your assessment. Well, uh, if you look at the score, it's a high-scoring quarter, so that favors FU being a good offensive-scoring team. So LaSalle has to do a better job on defense going to the second quarter. Score update brought to you by KFC UAP Snack Box. More for your school with a shoot, your vote, promo by KFC. It's been an RR Garcia quarter, an assist. 11 points, 4 out of 5, a couple of triples, another day in the office for this sophomore player. He is our leading contender for the Jollibee Champ, Big Burger Goodness, like no other. Second quarter is underway on the other side. We'll see you there. We at the Coliseum for the second quarter of the game between FEU 
and Masal. And FU in the lead by 4, 21-17. Mendoza again denied, this time by Paul Sanga, showing up for the big.